When we can quote more memes than we can actual scripture, we're out of the rhythm of what God is trying to do and we're not harmonious because we're all trying to make our own sound in order to be heard. The only time that we'll ever truly abide in harmony is when we walk in truth. Truth will set you free. Truth is offensive, truth hurts, but it's the only merit that actually bears freedom. Now, a lot of times we say where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Scripturally, that's not actually correct. Scripturally, it says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, a lot of times we say, is there not a different, is it freedom and liberty not the same? No, they're not. Freedom and liberty are two separate things. This nation, our nation, the United States, didn't form because of freedom. They were already free when they came here. They separated from England because of taxation and representation and all that. But the Declaration of Independence is not based on freedom. It's based on liberty. Liberty is a different merit. When you're 16 years old, you have the freedom to go and get your license in order to drive a vehicle. But until you get your license, you don't have the liberty to do so. You have the freedom to drive anywhere you want to drive once you get your license. If you go down Parkway and decide to drive 65 miles per hour, you have the freedom to do that, just not the liberty. Because a police officer who has the authority will pull you over, write you a ticket, because even though you had the freedom to go anywhere, you did not have the liberty to abandon the law. See, when the Spirit of the Lord comes, there is a liberty, which means it surpasses everything that is natural. So if you're sick in your body in the natural, when the Spirit of the Lord comes, it establishes a liberty to bypass the natural law that says you're going to die, and the Spirit of the Lord brings healing, and all of a sudden, the liberty establishes the healing in the body overriding the natural law. So there is truth that establishes freedom, but there is liberty that overrides natural circumstances in which we need. It's why a lot of churches will say that they are free, and you go in there, and it's like being in the middle of a prison ward. And they're thinking that they're free because if they've never experienced liberty, all they know is freedom. But if you ever experience liberty in the house of God, you know that God moves when he moves. 